Let's make pages on our portfolio. I have my draft open. I'm going to look on the menu on the right side. There are the three tab options at the top, insert, pages, and themes. I'm going to select pages. The only page I have right now is my home page because that is the default name for the page that was made when I made my website. And I'm going to leave that as home page. I want it to be called home. But I need some other pages along with it on my site. So to add a page, I go to the bottom and click on the plus. And as soon as I roll over it, I get this new page option. I want to click and then I'm going to give my new page a name. The next page I'd like to make is called About Me. So I type the name About Me and then I click Done. And that automatically made it at the same top level as my home page. So now if I look on my website draft area, I have Home and I have About Me. The next page I need to make is called Inquiry for our main inquiry unit page. So again, I will click on the plus for a new page and I will call this inquiry and then done. Now I also need a couple of sub pages underneath inquiry. I need my movie poster page and my inquiry unit project page. So I could just click on the plus again and click movie poster, type that in, and then done. But unfortunately that put it at the same level, the top level, and I don't want it here on my top menu. I want it underneath the inquiry page. So that's okay. You're supposed to be able to click and push in and drag to make sub pages, but I find it a little bit tricky to do. So unless you've already made your page and it's finished, I, I find it easier to just, and this is good practice to show you how to delete, I like to click the three dots and select delete, and then I'm just going to remake this page, adding it as a sub page, which is much easier than trying to add it at the same level and then fix it. If you click the three dots, I'm not going to click the plus at the bottom, I'm going to find my main page that I want to make a sub page of and click the three dots. And that brings up this hidden menu, and I want to choose Add Subpage. And then I'll just retype Movie Poster Done. And you see it automatically made it a subpage. It's indented a little bit underneath Inquiry, and it's not here on the top. But when I roll over Inquiry, I can see my Movie Poster page. The next page that I need is my inquiry, inquiry unit project page. So I'm going, I'm not going to click the three dots on the movie poster and choose add sub page because that would make it even one more step in and that makes the navigation a little confusing and can be hard for your instructor to find or anybody who's looking for it. So instead I'm going back to my inquiry page and I clicked on it to select. I know I've selected my inquiry, inquiry page because it's purple, it's highlighted, and also the page on the left says inquiry. So now I can click those three dots and choose add subpage. And this is going to be my inquiry unit project page. And actually I'm going to intentionally misspell this because then we're going to see how to fix that if you make any mistakes, and then click Done. So it automatically put it underneath my movie poster. So now when I roll over Inquiry, there's Movie Poster and there's Inquiry Unit Project. I misspelled it. Whoops, what do I do? Do I have to delete my page and start over? No. All I need to do is on the right menu, I won't fix it. I can fix it up here, but here's the thing. If you fix it in the title, it does not fix it in the menu. So you have to actually just click on the menu to select it. There we go, I clicked twice. I left clicked twice and now it's highlighted. And then I can just click at the end 
delete my T and retype it and then click out of it. Spelling is fixed. All right, this is all that I need for module one. I only need these pages completed. But if you would like to go ahead and make all the pages that you need, you could. Or you can wait until the next module. And remember, all you have to do is click the plus at the bottom. So when it's time for module two, I'm going to make a new subpage called communication. And then click done. Oh, except it wasn't supposed to be a subpage. What should I do? Let's see if I can just adjust it in the navigation by left clicking on communication holding. See, I dragged it to the left. There's that blue line. Now I'm going to let go. Didn't work. I'm going to try it again. Let's see if I move it up under about me. That worked. But this is a, also a good way to show you how you can move these pages around if they're in the wrong order and you need to fix it. I just moved my subpage communication above inquiry just to put it in my main menu. But I really want it after inquiry. So I'm going to click on it, left click, hold, and then drag down. I can see that blue line is now under my inquiry unit project. I'm going to hope it stays at the, I did. It, I can tell it stayed at the right level because each of these icons is lined up on the left side. The sub pages are indented in. And I also can see communication on my main draft page here up on the menu that is viewable. So that worked. And then for module two, I will end up making sub pages for each of my assignments. So I'll make my sub page my tech message by clicking add sub page, my tech message. etc. for all of your pages. That's it for pages. The next videos will show how to edit and use the insert menu.